Oh my God, I cannot believe I spent seven days in the Supreme line so I could spend $3,000 on Supreme. Just some thoughts for the mind. I take a glimpse into time, watch the blimp read the world is mine. If I rule the world, imagine that. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Slug, and today I'll be going over everything that I bought from the Supreme store in LA. I actually camped out because if you guys are familiar with the way that the drops work, Basically everything online drops a week after the store opening for Supreme and the first drop of the season is always huge. They have so much stuff to buy and that is just the time that everyone cashes out. And in this situation I was no different. I spent $3,000 on everything that I purchased. I'll show you guys the receipt at the end. And no, I do not say that to brag or anything like that. I am grateful of the opportunity I have. In reality, without you guys, I would not even have the opportunity or have the financial stability that I have in order to purchase all of these goods. Anyone that follows the channel, you guys know I don't come from money, so I'm extremely grateful to even have this opportunity. Now, of course, before we get started, make sure you smash that like button. I got a ton of other content from LA. I think I even have some content that will probably not be posted by the time this video is posted where I kind of document my experience in the Supreme line. But regardless, smash that like button. And of course, if you're not subscribed, change that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and join the notification. Now I have a lot of stuff to go through. Some of this stuff will be set on my personal Instagram account. So if you would like to see the pictures that I take with these garments, go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at the Star Life. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. Anyone that follows me knows my pictures are fire. And of course, make sure you go follow my resale page where a lot of these items will be sold on, which is Robotus and Poppy. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below as well. Now the first piece I'm gonna show off really wasn't that hype, but in my personal opinion, it was one of the sickest pieces from the drop. And if you get your chance to get your hands on one, I would definitely recommend it. And it's this centerpiece hoodie right here. I got it in a burgundy. Personally, I like the burgundy and the pink. I think this piece is so sick. I've been at Sleepy's house, as you guys can tell from the background, if you don't know who Sleepy is, just, just YouTube, S-L-X-X-P-Y. But basically, Sleepy and Duva have been seeing me geek out over this hoodie ever since I acquired it. I just, this hoodie is so dope to me. I love the fact that it's all embroidered. I like the colors. And I think it's just such a sick hoodie. As you can see, you got this beautiful centerpiece looking like it came straight from my grandmother's dining table. And then beneath that, it says, fuck them all in a nice, elegant cursive. It's like the most elegant way to say, fuck them all. But I love this hoodie. I did get this for my personal, so I got a size large. I usually try to get size larges for my personal because Supreme hoodies are a little bit more stiff. And so I usually prefer to size up. Now another piece I got was this blood and semen deck. Now they are doing several things with this photograph. If you guys are not familiar with this, a lot of people notice that this is very similar to the Load album from Metallica. That's true, that's because they both use the same uh, artwork or the same photographer's art, whatever you want to call it. And I forget his name, I think it's like Andres something, I don't know. I'm not gonna spend time Googling shit that I don't know about. I don't remember his name, but I do know that it's a photograph from that artist and it was used on the Load album. Fun fact, Metallica actually used another photograph from that photographer which is on their Reload album, where instead of using like cow blood and semen, they used cow blood and piss. These things have been going for quite a lot online. I'll probably be selling this on Robotus and Poppy, but overall, this is definitely a pretty sick board. Another piece that a lot of people have been hyped on is the World Is Yours Scarface Denim. They're also coming out with a hoodie and I believe sweats as well. I know they're coming out with a hoodie, but basically it is the Scarface World Is Yours Denim pants they dropped first week and then they also dropped the denim jacket. Let me zip this up so you guys can see the full graphic. As you can see on the front and on the back you have the world is yours neon sign which uh, is in Tony's mansion or whatever where he gets shot and he falls into the water and you can just see like the neon sign as he falls in the water and the water fills with blood and it's just a dope scene. But I'm glad that they used that graphic. It's pretty sick to me. I do like the graphic. However, I'm not a big fan of Supreme Denim because to me it's kind of stiff. I know a lot of people like stiff denim. Just for me personally, I prefer a stretchier denim that's mixed with more spandex. I should probably go over all the suits that I got first. So first up we have the patchwork suit. We got the patchwork hoodie and we also have the patchwork pants right here. Now this really reminds me of like Pete Mondrian's like composition. I've never been a big fan of that artwork, but that's just me personally. You guys may disagree, but that's what this reminds me of. And to be honest, this isn't my favorite colorway. This colorway is going for the most money and it seems like a lot of people like this one the best, but actually I preferred the more pastel colorway. I just kind of wanted to get this one so I could discuss that 
comparison or I guess that uh, similarity between that hoodie and the sweatpants and that artwork that I will try to put somewhere on the screen right now. I got one other suit which is the Tonal S logo. This is so sick to me. I love this like purple colorway as you can see. You have the purple on purple. This embroidery on the S is so clean. It's definitely a nice little combo. It has Supreme right there at the top of the hood. Also of course we got the Tonal S logo sweatpants which have the S logo actually on the front left pocket. When I was looking at it online, I don't know why, but I thought it was on the uh, rear end. But yeah, anyways, right here as you can see the S is right there in front of the pocket. Definitely a dope piece. Super nice and wearing this as a combo will look so savage. I might take a picture in that set and post it on Instagram. So like I said earlier, make sure you go follow me. Now this hoodie I really liked and a lot of people, I'm sure there's gonna be a few at least that'll be like, oh you like that? You're a hype beast. How dare you buy something from Supreme that says Supreme on it, blah blah blah. And um, I mean, I don't like all the colors but I like this ice blue color. I actually just ordered something from Born and Raised. This is more like a, I don't know, almost like a Tiffany mint, like crystal light blue. I don't know, this is a weird color. You don't really see this color, but I ordered more of like a powder baby blue from Born and Raised. And I just kind of like those light blues right now. I think they look super clean. As you can see, I think this one's the sickest colorway. That's why I chose to get it. I could have probably got the red or the black, which will probably sell for a little bit more, but I buy what I like to show you guys regardless of what sells out or whatever. I just think this is a sick piece. It says Supreme all the way across the front and of course all the way across the back. It's got some cut and sew action so it's got this own like separate panel sewn in. We also got the Arc Logo track jacket I think it's called. I got this in a black. I wasn't a big fan of any of the colorways really. I like the track jacket but I just got the black and the white because I felt this was the only colorway that I was a real fan of. And that's this one right here. As you can see, it says Supreme across the back, all embroidered. Definitely a nice track jacket and it was actually a decent price. It was like 158 retail. I did get a couple of stickers, which I'll go over at the end. Not a lot. If, I don't know. In store, they're like super stingy with the sticks. When you order online, they usually hook you up fat with stickers. So like usually every order you get stickers online, but in store, you usually only get a couple. So I'll go over those at the end but we still have quite a few items to discuss. Now I basically got all the tees. I got this one in a navy. This is a crash tee. I think this tee was so hard, but I will say that I think navy was the hardest colorway. Of course people are gonna like this tee because it says Supreme in big letters across the back. We got the dollar bill tee, dollar dollar bills, y'all. And it says the altered states of America. And then it says one zillion. You got this dude looking like George Washington with his hand over his eyeballs looking as if he is somewhat upset or something like that. It says future, uh, huh, future, it, so it, it spells with numbers. I forgot what that's called. I know that's called something because when I used to play on Xbox Live, that was like really popular to use like a three instead of an E. But if you look right here, it actually says future is f and uh, it uses like threes instead of the E, it uses a one instead of an I, and a five instead of the S. Uh, next up we have, uh, what one was this called? The f with your head tee. As you can see it says Supreme, you got this pink graphic, and it says f with your head. We got the heart tee right here. As you can see it has like these characters distorted to spell out f Next up we got this Venus tee, and this tee is decent, it says Supreme and like letters that are strewn about across that graphic and then on the back it has the same strewn about letters saying Supreme and says made possible with your support. Next up we got the Bloom tee I believe. Yeah, the Bloom long sleeve tee. And you have this graphic right here which has these flowers blooming and then it says Supreme in the middle. Now my two favorite tees besides the Nas tee obviously is going to have to be the Supreme DNA tee. I think this tee was super sick. I also like the fact that when you order these in different colors, they use different colors for the Supreme. I just think that it's cool that they use like purple instead of the other colors because it kind of just goes better with the pink shirt. And then right here it says Money Weed Supreme Pussy. And then next up of course we have the Kiss Tee. This thing is fire. As you can see, you have these four uh, females grabbing each other's pussies. Then you have these two individuals kissing. I don't know, this looks like a dude and a woman, but maybe this is a like a, a female. But you have this woman on the far left wearing a Supreme box logo. I think this looks super sick in pink. I think my favorite colorways are probably the pink and the gray. And then of course we got the Nasty Nas tee. Now this was a must cop for me. I will be raffling this on Robotus and Poppy. Uh, this piece is just so sick. It says Nasty Nas. It's got Nazir Jones right there with a little rosary wearing a Supreme box logo. This is legendary. I will actually play my favorite Nas song at the end of this video. So if you guys would like to know what my favorite Nas song is, 
then wait till the end and you guys will listen to my favorite song from that beautiful, talented artist. Anyways, we also have the Supreme Loose Gauge Beanie in the Tonal Black. Now, a lot of people ask where I get my beanie or if they can buy it off me, because I have this from last season when they dropped it with the white script. Of course, I had to get the Tonal Black. I like this one a lot better, only because I, I don't mind branding. I like branding a lot, but I like subtle branding. Even if it's like really big, but when it's like tonal and it's just a little bit more subtle, that's usually when I like it a little bit better. Speaking of tonal, the tonal S logo hats are so fire. You guys know I rarely ever cop hats, but I had to cop the tonal S logo. This one's kind of unique because the S, it's like on a desert camo. Basically, it's a must have essential for anyone who served in Desert Storm or served in the Middle East like myself when I went to Afghanistan, even though we were not allowed to wear this camo. But regardless, as you can see, you have the Tonal S embroidery, which matches the lighter browns, and then you have the all over desert camo. They dropped this in a multitude of colors, but this was the only pattern that they dropped. Now, I also got the white uh, like shoulder bag. In my personal opinion, white was the only colorway that I really liked. I think the bags were lacking. I got the white duffel bag, the white backpack, and I got the uh, white waist bag. But I just gave those for retail to Sleepy and Dugu because I didn't really want them, so I figured, you know, they can pay for them if they want them and they wanted them, so they got them. But I will say, in my personal opinion, white is by far the best. We also got the gift. These things have been going for like 40 to 50 bucks. I'll probably do a raffle for this, but it's a Supreme toothbrush. It says Supreme on it. It's a packable toothbrush. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't really know. Uh, next up, we have a personal cop, and this is like a Riften safety um, bag where you can store things and then you can lock it. Uh, this piece is sick to me. It says money is always most important, and then you have all these little B4UD1394. I don't know what the B4UD13 is for, but I'm guessing the 94 is for the year that Supreme was established. We got the gold diamond cut Zippo. I'm gonna try to cop some more of these when we go back to Supreme, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah. We also have the Supreme Ashtray. It's got gold lining. You have a little uh, placement indentations for your cigarettes and you can just ash on Supreme. I think this is a pretty dope ceramic piece. However, I will not be acquiring this. As you guys know, I don't smoke or anything like that. So I will be selling this on Robotest and Poppy for sure. And just in case we have any freaking doubters, we can show you guys the receipt right here. As you can see, I spent $2,967.23. I will probably be going back tomorrow to buy some more stuff. I really actually, it would have been 3,000 on the dot because I went to go buy the collapsible shovel. I asked them to sell it to me. However, they forgot to put that in my bag. They're just kind of like that sometimes, I guess. I don't know. I might be posting an experience video of like the Supreme experience or the Supreme line experience. And then I also have another video on my post, which is like a, like a little video diary, I guess, of my experience camping out. Overall, it was a crazy experience. It was extremely unique, but um, I don't know if I could ever do that again. I got a lot of stuff and I'm happy that I got the stuff. I don't think I could have gotten this much stuff online. I highly doubt it. I, we'll, we'll see, because I'm gonna try next Thursday. But still, I just like, I don't know, man. That was just such a crazy experience. Good in the sense that at least I can say I've experienced that, I did that. I slept outside or in my car for seven days. And uh, overall, I met a lot of cool people in the line. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Like I said earlier, make sure you subscribe if you have not already. If you are subscribed and you don't have notifications on, make sure you change that and turn on notifications and join the notification. Go follow me on my personal Instagram account, which is the Star Life. If you want to purchase any of these items, make sure you go follow my resale page, which is Robot Tested Poppy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart, like I already might have said, I don't remember. And as always, keep living the Star Life. Swing the blunt, ash falls into the ashtray. I could see my whole life fly past me. Did I, did I keep the gangster or keep